One player familiar with Asian rugby is All Black Jerome Kaino. The World Cup winning back row has spent the last two seasons with Japanese club Toyota Verblitz. Having enjoyed a change of scenery, he's now returned to New Zealand with his hometown club, the Auckland Blues. I wanted to give Super Rugby another go, and, um, and I was young enough to, to be able to do that. So, uh, yeah, it was me and my wife made the decision to, to come back home and give it another go. I have had to adapt my game to the Japanese style of rugby, and, which was a lot quicker. Um, yeah, I had, I had to work on different skill sets that I hadn't been used to, but um, you know, coming back, the game's a lot more physical here, and hopefully I could um, implement some of those skills that I had to grow in Japan here in Super 15. 2011 was a memorable year for Kaino, winning the World Cup on home soil and being nominated for IRB Player of the Year. So many were surprised to see him give up his all-black shirt by moving to Japan. The financial part of it was a huge part, but also um, knowing a lot of the expats that were there and, and Philo Tietu, who was the coach at the time, uh, that was a huge, huge part of my decision. Yeah, I thought it was time for me and my family to be able to head over, have a little break and, and enjoy a different culture and then just the style of rugby. I'd, you know, leaving a huge World Cup campaign, uh, I don't, uh, the UK um, style of rugby probably didn't suit where I was physically. I worked pretty hard to get to where I was at that time and um, yeah, I'd give a lot to the coaches and um, a lot of my teammates that were in that 2011 setup. It was the best rugby that I had been playing but um, hopefully now that I'm back hopefully I could um, replicate that or even better it. Born in American Samoa, his family moved to New Zealand when he was a boy. He first played for the Blues aged 23, eight years later he's reintegrating into the squad. I think three quarters of this team were <laughs> I hardly even knew when I left, but um, yeah, it's good to see Woody, Kevy, uh, Tom Donnelly and a few other faces around. And, um, yeah, they're, they're still looking fresh, they're still keen to get into it and um, yeah, it's good for me to be able to have some familiar faces around. We've, we've got goals week in week out to be able to better last week's performance and um, we're slowly building. We've got a lot of young players that um, who are keen and enthusiastic and uh, if, if we, um, as leaders, if we set the, those weekly goals for them to hit and um, hopefully as a team we'll, get, we'll achieve what we want to achieve. Despite his 48 caps, there's no certainty of a return to the All Blacks. The competition in this, um, for one position, in each position, uh, is just so strong and it just, get, um, it just builds every individual skill set. So, um, speaking on my position, number six, there's so many skill number sixes in this country which um, just lifts that standard and um, and when you do reach that goal of making the All Blacks it's such a uh, yeah it's it's huge uh, it's a gratifying feeling um, I think if you ask any player that's eligible for the All Blacks in New Zealand they they would say the same thing they would say their goal is to make the All Blacks and yeah it's a huge goal of mine to be able to gain selection into that team but um, first things first for me is to try and get that spot in in the Blues and I've got some. Um, some keen and skilled young boys in those positions at the moment. So it's a good challenge in this team and I'm looking forward to it.